What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at a few different power banks from the company VRURC. We have model T1173, which is their 10,000 milliamp model. And then we have model T2066, which is their 20,000 milliamp model. All right, so while these might look like regular power banks on the surface, they actually have one unique feature that makes them stand out above any other power bank on the market, and that is built-in cables. So you can see they all have a carrying strap on top, but that's not actually a carrying strap. That's actually a built-in charging cable. So that locks in right there to release it. You just push that down and it comes out. And just like that, you can now charge the power bank directly from the built-in cable, but it gets better. Coming around back, you have more built-in cables. So this is your charging cable. And then right back here, you have your output cable. So you have a USB-C cable. USB-A and lightning cable. So very, very convenient to have that because with my regular power bank, as you guys all know, if you have a regular power bank, you have something like this, and then you gotta carry around the extra cable, depending what device you have. If you have a USB-C device, you gotta have that cable. If you have a lightning device, you have another cable. So basically, at minimum, if you wanna charge three different devices at all times, you have your power bank, and then you have three different cables at all times. But with this, very, very convenient. You just have your power bank and that's all you need because everything is built in right into the device. So if you want to charge your phone, just pop that out, plug it into your phone, just like that, you're good to go. I'm definitely going to be using these more than my other power banks simply for that reason. So taking a look at the power banks, these are also very stylish as well. Usually power banks look like a boring black brick. And I mean, at the end of the day, the cosmetics aren't that important, but if you can have them, then why not? You can see it kind of looks like a fabric material, but this is actually a printed plastic. Like I said, very nice looking. So coming to the top here, you have your built-in cable. That's on all of them. But beside that, you also have an input and an output. So the input is USB-C, and then the output is USB-A. So if something happens, one of these cables messes up or anything like that, you still have those ports, so you don't have to worry about that. So these two are the 10,000 milliamps. So these are identical except for the color, and this one is the 20,000. Looking at the port, there is some differences. This one charges with the USB-A, this one charges with USB-C. The top inputs are the same, USB-C and USB-A. Well, one is in and one is out, and that's the same on both. But coming to the back, you have some differences here. This one has the USB-C, USB-A, and Lightning. But this one has USB-C, micro USB, and Lightning. So personally, I prefer this one because I have some older devices which had this micro USB. I hate this port. It's just old and outdated. and but unfortunately we still have some electronics putting that on there and it's always a pain for me to look around my house and try to find that cable but with this i don't have to worry about it it's just built in so that takes away that hassle personally i prefer the ports on this one but but i guess it all depends on what you want out of the power bank so i'm not going to go over every single spec of all the ports that these power banks have because they're all different and that's going to get pretty tedious going over every single one but all these power banks have 22.5 watts on quick charge or 20 watts with power delivery. That's a pretty good charging speed for any tablet or phone. Any modern phone is usually about, I wanna say about 15, 18 watts for a Samsung Galaxy, something like that. So it's gonna be able to charge most modern devices, no problem at all. You're gonna get more charge out of this one. This one is double the size, but it's also physically much bigger as well. So it depends what you favor, whether you want less power and more portability or more power and less portability. Again, it's still very portable but it's just not as portable as these. I will say these are some of the smallest 10,000 watt power banks I've seen so far, especially since they include cables as well. So if it didn't have these cables, it'll be even thinner. But even as is right now, I have a few different 10,000 uh, milliamp power banks and they're usually much larger than this. This is a very, very nice form factor. So I think this is about 3.6 by 3.2, something like that. And this one's a little bit bigger, but you can see they're roughly about the same size but you can see on the 20,000 milliamp that one's a lot thicker bolt very very light uh, looking at the specs this one here is 195 grams this one here is 310 grams so about 50 percent heavier you do feel the extra heft but it is double the capacity so that's kind of inevitable as a comparison the s21 ultra phone is 229 grams so this is lighter than a phone this one's a little heavier than your phone just to give you kind of a idea of how heavy they're going to be most airlines have a 20,000 milliamp capacity that you carry at most some might let you carry a little more than that but it all depends on the airline and the people there whether they allow it or not but pretty much 27,000 is like the universal 
safe amount. This is 20,000, this is 10,000. So regardless of which one you go with, you are under that limit. Or you can even go with two of these and they'll also let that as well since that's also a combined under the 27,000 limit. Before I move on, I wanted to point this out up here. While these flicker on camera, they're not actually flickering in real life. That's just the way the camera is picking them up. So up here I have 71%, right here I have 75%. Very, very cool to have that because most power banks just have a bunch of little LEDs on the front. So you kind of got to guess where you're at with the battery. If it has one dot, it could be 15%, could be 1%, you really don't know. But this one, you know exactly how much percentage is in the battery. You just click on the button at the side and it'll tell you. And this will tell you all the way down to 1%. Obviously at zero, it won't work anymore, but very, very cool to have that feature so you can know where you're at as far as charging goes and how much capacity you have left. So if you are interested in these power banks, again, one thing to consider is the size. Personally, I think this is the perfect power bank to take with you. If you're going somewhere, you're going out for the day, this is very, very light. You can throw this in your bag or your book bag. You're not gonna feel like it's there. This one, you're gonna feel a little more. Not much still, but like I said, it is heavier, so you're gonna feel it more. For me, this is the perfect power bank to have at home. I don't really care about portability, but I want a nice pack so I can have around the house. If I'm on the sofa, my phone is dying. This is gonna be my go-to. But if I'm going somewhere and I wanna bring some extra battery with me to make sure my phone doesn't die, that's where I'll go with one of these. So in my case, I like having both capacities, but if you just wanted one, it all depends on what you need and what you prefer more. So coming back to the size real quick, here I have the 20,000 milliamp power bank from VRURC. Then I have another one over here. These are both 20,000 milliamps and you can see this is a drastic, much smaller size compared to this one. It's a little bit thicker, but not too much. It appears like this one might be slimmer, but just because it has rounded off edges, so it gives the illusion. But honestly, this is not too much thicker and you can see it's way, way smaller in terms of length goes. So definitely very cool. They were able to pack that all into a small device. So another cool feature about these power banks is you can charge four devices at once. So you don't have to choose one. You can actually use a whole bunch at the same time. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. All right, I went and got a few items to uh, charge and test this out with. So here I have a USB-A to USB-C. Here I have a karaoke machine uh, microphone here, charged with USB-C. Light went on, charging that. Let's go ahead and use this integrated cable here. It's gonna get kind of messy because you have a bunch of things plugged in, but still convenient. Plug that in there, charging as well. Let's go ahead and get that USB-C. Charge that as well. As you can see, charging there too. Uh, what else, what else? All right, well, I don't have a fourth item here. Not that's compatible with the ports that I have here, but like I said, you can charge up to four items on the same device. Very cool to have. As you can see, this is more than enough for most people. So if you go on a trip with your family somewhere, this is going to be perfect for that. You can get everybody's devices charging all at once. Charge one of your kid's phone maybe, charge your phone, some headphones, or maybe you're just a person that has a lot of devices with you and you can charge it all at one time instead of having different things plugged in. If you're going to be charging everything at once like this and you really need to do this on a normal basis, then definitely go with the 20,000 because this is going to give adequate power to give you a good charge to everything. But depending on if it's more than one phone or something, it might kill it faster. This is 10,000 milliamps of power. The average phone is about 5,000 milliamps. So it'll give you about two charges there if it's just that device. But if it's that and plus other things, you might still get 100% to everything because headphones are probably like 300 milliamps, something like that. This microphone probably the same about 300 so right there that's about less than 6,000. so you still got some juice less in that alone but if you want to charge longer and have much more power and not die quicker then definitely go with the 20,000 like this one so definitely very cool and then when you're done with everything just put that cable back in there unplug that put that cable back in there get that cable out of here we don't want that and then back to a nice and compact unit Overall, these are definitely very cool power banks. Why get a regular power bank when you can get one that's much more convenient with the built-in cables instead? So if you happen to be shopping for power banks, I highly recommend these, which again are from VRURC. We have the 10,000 milliamp, the 20,000 milliamp. There's the model numbers, and I'll also put the links down in the description as well. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.